Here's what you need to know from this news week. Inflation is showing signs of improvement, and this could help the Fed continue cutting rates. Uh, we got a report from CoreLogic that showed rents are down pretty significantly for blended rents, which is basically just new rents as well as renewals. Uh, but the Federal Reserve relies on other inflation measures, things like CPI and PCE, which do weigh shelter costs heavily. And so that's still pushing the inflation numbers up, which is not really good for mortgage rates. Apartment list, on the other hand, shows uh, rents for vacant units, just new rents. And that's dropping year over year because, you know, landlords basically reduce prices to fill vacancies. And this is typically higher than new rents because, well, renewal rents is typically higher than new rents because landlords can leverage the costs and hassle of moving that tenants would have if they relocate. Um, retail sales for September looked strong at first glance. Again, not really good for mortgage rates, but the numbers were really held up by seasonal adjustments. And without those adjustments, retail sales would have actually been down. So the economy might not be as strong as these numbers make it seem. Manufacturing continues to struggle. We got factory utilization week and uh, remaining week, I should say, and um, industrial capacity is down as well, which so basically we're seeing lower production. Um, initial jobless claims were down slightly, uh, but claims overall are still pretty high. And if these numbers move the opposite way, it would pressure the Fed to cut rates to maintain what they call maximum employment. So oddly, we're kind of rooting for people to lose their jobs if we're wanting to see rates come down. But again, the Fed rate is not directly tied to mortgage rates, and I have info you can share with clients to explain that. And housing starts and permits both came down in September. Uh, basically, higher construction costs caused this. Most of the gains were in multifamily projects, but that's probably going to slow based on the starts and permits we saw. Uh, less building is only going to help support home prices. And builder sentiment overall is getting better, although um, it basically they're expecting current and, and future sales to pick up. Um, on existing homes, the lock-in effect, which you might have heard of, continues to stall basically a, a real rebound in existing home sales because a lot of homeowners are just reluctant to sell and face higher rates if they buy a replacement property. Next week, we'll get updates on existing uh, and new home sales. So it'll be important just to watch these reports along with, you know, regular bond movements. So expect some volatility, but I'll see you next Friday for another two minutes of news. Please reach out if I can help in any way.